How you folks doing? It's uh, Alex Markovides again with Green Revolution. I'm honored and really excited to have uh, the president of the New Jersey Department of Education and the founder of the Willow School with me, Mr. Mark Biedren. And we're gonna have a conversation about everything from the triple bottom line to uh, life in general and to how we as, a, we as a society, whether you are right wing, left wing, you know, whether you are poor, rich or anything in between, can come together and make a positive difference, more importantly, specifically in education. Our vision is so that every child, when they graduate, walk out that door in 12th grade, mm -hmm. has what we call a well-rounded comprehensive education, mm -hmm. right, is civic ready. So what does that mean, right? How do you be civic ready? Look at our current landscape. Are we civic ready as adults? I don't think so. Why? Simple, we, didn't, we were never educated to do that. Right. So be civic ready to really uh, be college and career ready too. Okay, yeah. that's good. But right. more importantly, have the skills and dispositions to be life ready. Take a walk. Yeah, let's do good. it, let's do it. All right, we're gonna walk around the Willow School and uh, <clears throat> let's do this. So this building right here was built in 2002. It was the first lead gold school building in the country, and it is our kindergarten through fifth grade classroom. There's six classrooms in there. Uh, many people back in the day of 2003 considered this to be one of the greenest buildings in the country. Okay. Uh, this building over here was built in 2007. We call it the barn because it sort of looks like a barn, and it was uh, again built in 07. It was the first lead platinum building in New Jersey, uh, probably the I think 16th or 17th in the in the country very very efficient if you take this building and compare it to a building built to the building code this building requires 70 percent less energy to run and 60 percent less water this building right over here is our health wellness and nutrition center a 20,000 okay. square foot building that just became certified uh, through the living building challenge and the living building challenge really challenges you to make a building act like a tree oh. and act like an organism so it actually participates with its ecosystem and actually makes its ecosystem, our community, healthier because it's there. And, and it makes its place healthier. And uh, by place yeah. I talk about people, you know, the ecosystem, the, the water, the mm -hmm. trees, the everything. So right. that's that's the purpose of a building, just like the purpose of a bird's nest. This building has no electric bill. It's uh, You can see the roof has uh, all solar panels on it. Mm -hmm. That big tank is where we collect the water from the, uh, from the roof and use it to flush the toilets. It's made of completely recycled and salvaged materials. And every one of the materials, every nut, bolt, and screw has been through the Living Building Challenge Red List. They have a list of 16 chemicals that they will not allow in a building. Mm. And so every product's been certified not to have those. We've looked at every one of these materials through a microscope, whether it's the wood, the hardware, and everything like this the way we do everything here mm -hmm. and there's it, it's unmatched anywhere so a living building has to be totally electric no combustion allowed okay so you're looking at the state of the art electric commercial kitchen that feeds 300 people <laughs> and if you look at the thickness of our walls some people say well how how did you get to be net positive energy right so we produce this building actually produces 80,000 AC kilowatt hours per year more than it uses. This is an old barn that we, we salvaged. Wow, this is completely salvaged. Yeah, everything in this except the floor is uh, salvaged stuff. The walls, salvaged. the ceiling. The, the, the first loop of the recycle, reuse, right. <laughs> before exactly. doing anything exactly. else. So, wow. uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is a space we use for, uh, for art, design, um, for uh, theater, for music. Uh, it's a gathering space. Yeah. And then there's some classrooms and everything in here. So in the beginning, beginning, you know, I had um, uh, three, three young children and two boys ready to come into, uh, into elementary school. And, and my uh, wife at the time and I were looking around and there's a lot of excellent schools around our neighborhood. But, you know, we wanted a school uh, that, that, that really focused on communication and language, that incredibly focused on demonstrating and mentoring what does it look like to have an ethical relationship with another human being. And we wanted a place that combined the joy of learning with academic excellence. So we couldn't find a combination of all those. And so my, my wife looked at me and said, 
Mark, we either have to move or build a school. And I said, geez, I, th I guess we better move because I don't think we should start building a school. <laughs> right. Well, P.S., we ended up uh, building a school. New Jersey, We one of the things we're really trying to bring out is that every school mm -hmm. should have its own culture, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's simple. Every school should be a mirror of its community, it's right? Really so in Newark, you're a mirror of Newark. Right. Camden's totally different. You're a mirror of Camden. Right. Out here, different. Mm -hmm. We get it. And the good news is New Jersey is completely set up for that. We have 586 school districts. We're teed up to be a place-based education model. Any last inspirational words to our viewers or anything? Because I feel like you've done so much for education and sustainability and just anything else you can say. Yes, education is the answer to everything. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Vision. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to Stay Alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from 7th Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too. Click and subscribe. To stay alive. We'll you think see they're really going to do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.